brother Aaron will be your prophet. But I've hardened the Pharaoh's heart. And though I multiply my signs and wonders, he will not listen. Then I will lay my hand on Egypt with mighty acts of judgment. Um... And I will stretch out my hand against Egypt, and I will bring the Israelites out of it. In other words, God's saying, I'll bring them out. And I am. It's me. I will outstretch my arm, and I will bring them out. Well, personally. So they did, finally, in chapter 7, verse 6, Moses and Aaron did as the Lord commanded, without protesting or asking questions. They just did it. So when they went to the Pharaoh, um, you know, they threw the staff down it became a snake but then the pharaoh summoned his wise men and sorcerers and egyptian magicians and they did the same thing from their secret um, magic arts and their sorcery that's why you don't mess with that stuff um it's from an evil power it does exist it's from an evil power and you can't use it without becoming evil so stay away with, from that you you only turn to the lord for what you need uh, okay, so in verse 12 it says, Each one threw down their staff, and it became a snake. But Aaron's staff swallowed up their staffs. Yet Pharaoh's heart became hard, and he would not listen, just as the Lord said. So plague strikes Egypt. And it goes on. And I'm going to tell you the names of the plagues. You can go and read them. I'm not going to go through each one of the plagues right now, except just to name them. First of all is the plague of blood. Um, and that's where he, he struck the water of the Nile and it was changed into blood and it goes into description then in chapter 8 the plague of the frogs there's one line in there that I wanted to find Anyway, the frogs covered everything. And the frogs died in the houses. That had to reek. They were piled in heaps. Yeah, and it says the land reeked of them in verse 14, 8, 14. But Pharaoh's heart was hardened and he wouldn't let them go. And then they had the plague of gnats. Then they had the plague of flies. In chapter 9, they had the plague on the livestock. Um, and um, it doesn't describe it that I see. Oh, it does say that uh, by the way, in verse 4, but the Lord will make a distinction between the livestock of Israel and of, uh, uh, that of Egypt so that no animal belonging to an Israelite will die. But still, Pharaoh wouldn't listen. So then you get the plague of boils. Then you get the plague of hail. Um, then in chapter 10, there's the plague of locusts. And um, we could do a special study if you're interested. Comment below on the plagues. Um, if you want to. And then there's the plague of darkness. And then in uh, chapter 11 is the plague of the firstborn son dying. Um, and that is chapter 11. That's the end of all of that. And then in chapter 12, we will talk about the plague, I mean not the plague, the Passover. Um, and that's actually... The reason it's singled out like that is because, yes, there was the plague of the death of the firstborn son, but there had to be the Passover to protect the firstborn sons of the Israelites. Um, and that's where they put the blood on the um, doorframe and along the sides um, so that the angel of death would pass over their homes. Um, and that is what chapter 12 uh, begins and talks about. And then um, there's um, there's some other things that go on in that chapter so we'll talk about that in the next video um, that was um, Exodus 4 through 11 I think I'd said 4 through 7 before but I wanted to get all the way to 11 because the next video is going to be 12 through 18 and then we'll be in this week we'll be caught up and we'll be in this week 
I appreciate your patience, and I'll talk to you in the next video. I love you guys. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. Read your Bibles. Go and read all those details yourself. All right. Love you. Bye.